Your DNA contains an incredible amount of information about every aspect of your being, including your risk of developing certain diseases. But up until recently, it was nearly impossible for doctors to analyze that information for individual patients. Human genomics has advanced dramatically over the past, let's say, about two decades now. The human genome was first sequenced in 2001 at the cost of you know, billions of dollars for a single genome. Now, for a couple hundred dollars, you can sequence an entire human genome. Professor Ali Torkamani studies human genomics at the Scripps Research Translational Institute. By analyzing huge amounts of genetic information, he and his team are working to predict an individual's risk for rare and common diseases. It starts with a saliva or blood sample, which researchers use to extract DNA. The DNA is then sequenced with a high-throughput sequencer. This produces millions of short sets of base pairs, A's, T's, C's, and G's. Using computer models, those millions of sets are compared to a reference, or standardized, human genome, revealing any important variations. Ultimately, you're left with like, you know, a short list, a table essentially of the most interesting genetic variants, what the gene is that they're associated with, what disease are those genes associated with, and a series of predictions and other annotations. Torquemani has incorporated this research into a new app to help people understand their personal disease risk. My Gene Rank is an app that we built to communicate coronary artery disease and eventually other disease risk to individuals. So anyone can download it, connect their pre-existing genetic data, will calculate a genetic risk score as well as a clinical risk score and return that to the individuals. Researchers can collect additional information, run it through computer models, and get an even more accurate sense of a patient's risk. You don't just want to know their genetic risk, you also want to know, you know how old are they? What are their cholesterol levels? Do they have diabetes or not? Do they smoke or not? So you take the genetic risk score plus these other factors, combine them in a machine learning model, train that machine learning model on the very large data sets that are available, and then you can apply that to new individuals to what is their risk for disease in the next 10 years. Patients can take that information to their doctors and decide the best course of action. It's been shown that those individuals with high genetic risk for coronary artery disease get more benefit in terms of the reduction of their risk by going on statins than individuals with low uh, genetic risk. As the technology advances, this framework could expand to many more diseases. Any disease where there's a screening test involved would be a good example of where genetic information could be used. So prostate cancer, breast cancer, colorectal cancer, any disease where knowing your risk upfront and where you can sort of either change your lifestyle or go on a prophylactic would be a good target. And eventually, this approach could have a major impact in the doctor's office, tailoring testing and preventative care to each patient. That's the real real power here is to get, get away from treating each individual as an average individual and really understanding their personal risk makeup and really kind of personalizing when and what interventions should be taken.